All right, this chapter is about cell respiration. Um, an easy way to understand this or to get a big concept of this chapter is this. How do we obtain energy from our food? Our food, we eat food for energy purposes. We break it apart, put that energy in another molecule called ATP. Okay, but the whole point is how do we obtain energy from our food via cellular respiration? So keep that in mind. Okay, so as you know, living organisms depend on processes that provide light, sorry, that provide energy, right? Because we all need energy to survive. We all need energy to survive. Uh, if we go at the cellular level, because we are made of cells, right? We are all made of cells. We are made of cells. Uh, cells are the ones that actually require this fuel, okay? So they require fuel continuously. Cells rely on the energy generating by using oxygen, the stuff that you actually breathe, to break down food. In this case, we'll talk about glucose during a, uh, during a process called cellular respiration. So that's a big concept here. We need energy, but really what we need is our cells need energy, right? They need fuel. And cells will rely on the energy by generated by using oxygen. So oxygen is going to be very important for this process uh, to be able to break down the energy in our food molecules, okay? So we can put it in another, uh, in another molecule called ATP. And this whole process is called cell respiration. All right, what we see here is, and I saw you, I've shown you this uh, video before. Uh, again, keep this idea that all life requires energy. All life requires energy. Okay. Uh, in this side, we have photosynthesis, which is a little bit of a review from previous uh, chapters. So photosynthesis. What do we need to get photosynthesis going? Well, we need things like carbon dioxide, right? Carbon dioxide. We need uh, water, water, and we need energy, right? In this case, it's gonna be the light or sun, okay? The energy from the sun. Now, what goes out from photo, out of photosynthesis? Uh, glucose and oxygen so these are going to be the products so what goes in are the reactants what goes out are the products so what what goes in in photosynthesis carbon dioxide water uh sunlight here okay to produce what to produce glucose and oxygen and i'm going to go here i'm going to point here out glucose actually i'm going to do this in a different color um glucose glucose and oxygen all right now the reason why i'm showing you this is not because i want to be repetitive it's because i want to show you something here let's put uh cell respiration which we're talking about right now in cell respiration what do we need well what's going to go in check this out glucose glucose and oxygen o2 oxygen and what's going to come out of cell respiration? Well, we're going to produce some carbon dioxide. We're going to produce some water. And we're going to produce uh, energy, ATP, which is energy that your cells will use for their cellular work. Okay. We also make a little bit of heat or some, actually not a little bit, a lot of heat. Okay. So these are both our forms of energy. Now, what am I trying to show you here is this. I'm going to do this in a different color. Look at the photosynthesis uh, equation, right? What do we get in? What's gonna go in? Carbon dioxide, water, sunlight. What do we what do we produce? Glucose and oxygen. Now let's look at cell respiration. What goes in? Glucose and oxygen. What goes out? Carbon dioxide, water, and some form of energy. The other another way to see this is just the reverse. Okay, think about photosynthesis.
is the reverse. I want to put here reverse because it's not completely a reverse, right? But it's 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 pretty much reverse. It's a reverse of cell respiration. Okay, the products of photosynthesis are the reactants of cell respiration. The products of cell respiration or some of them are going to be the reactants for photosynthesis and in terms of the products of cell respiration or some of them are going to be the reactants for photosynthesis and in terms of energy that's what changes right photosynthesis we get the energy from the sun in cell respiration the energy is in another form it's in atp and heat but everything is the same so it's just think of it as the reverse of it Okay, um, I want to put something over here, write this down, uh, plants, what well, I'm going to call these plants, but I'm going to call them producers because they produce, right? So producers, uh, they are going to go through photosynthesis, okay, because they, um, because they have chloroplasts, remember that, chloroplasts, which is over here, this is a chloroplast. Plants go through photosynthesis, and plants can also go through cell respiration because they need energy as well, okay? And for cell respiration, they have a mitochondria. However, uh, animals, actually, I'm going to put here another name, consumers, okay? Us. We do not we do not go through photosynthesis. We don't have chloroplasts, but we can go through cell respiration. In other words, we have mitochondria. Okay, that's important to understand, guys. Plants can do both photosynthesis and cell respiration. Animals can go through cell respiration, no photosynthesis. It will be great. Just be outside, get a little tan. As we get a little tan, we make our own food, right? But that's not what happens. Okay. All right. Let me just uh, look at this. Uh, uh, let me just put a couple more notes in this diagram. Uh, again, here we have a producer. Okay. We have a producer, also known as. Let me raise this really quick and change it. This is going to be a producer. Your plant, a producer also known as an autotroph. Autotroph because they make their own food using carbon dioxide. Remember that? So producer, uh, produce their own food. For their own organic matter uh, from inorganic nutrients. Okay, uh, they're gonna they have chloroplasts like I show you here. They're gonna go through photosynthesis, which we talked about it. By the way, photosynthesis this is where ecosystems. So ecosystems depend on photosynthesis uh, for food, because that's where the food comes from. That's why they're called producers, right? That's why they're called producers. And these producers are going to make something called, okay, actually, hold on. Okay, they're going to produce something called uh, glucose. In other words, food. In other words, chemical energy. Glucose is chemical energy. Potential energy. In other words, this is going to be your food. Okay. Over here, we're going to have, uh, so that's the producers. And here, this little the cute little bunny, a cute little uh, fox. These are going to be consumers, right? They consume consumers. Uh, in other words, they are going to be called heterotrophs. Okay? Heterotrophs. That means they eat organic material. Uh, they depend on producers. for both, uh, for fuel, organic fuel, and raw materials. Okay, 
And then at the end of, of cell respiration, what's going to happen? Uh, this, uh, this fox, this little rabbit, they're consumers. They're going to go through cell respiration, just like plants do. But in cell respiration, just know that we need a mitochondria, okay, which is over here, a mitochondrion. And the energy here is ATP. Let me make it a little bigger, ATP, which is energy. Which this is the energy used by cells, okay, energy used by cells. And also some heat comes out of here, cells. And also some heat comes out of here, okay? And again, it is we produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, what I gave you here, these things that I gave you in the uh, diagram, it's just so you can follow the story, okay? Just kind of filling some, some terminology, okay? Just know that, for example, producers, autotrophs, they produce their own food, right? But they're called producers, they're plants, right? This is a mitochondria over here, for example. Uh, sorry, uh, chloroplast. Uh, another way to call over here, another way to call glucose is chemical energy or food, right? Uh, another way that we call consumers is going to be called aterotrophs. Uh, another way, uh, the energy that comes out in cell respiration is ATP and heat, okay? I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm just trying to put some some terminology behind some of these words but the big 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 point i'm going to do is i'm going to put it with what with yellow stars is this all all organisms i want to change my mind here because that didn't really work very well uh the big point of this slide should be this i'm going to do purple here no black this is black okay this all life requires energy photosynthesis is a reverse of cell respiration. This is huge. This is huge. That's what you have to stick with. Okay. The other ones are just kind of little, um, little um, terminology. And also know this: plants and animals. Plants are producers. They produce food, right? So uh, they can plants can go through photosynthesis, but they can also go through cell respiration. They have both chloroplast and mitochondria. Animals can only go through cell respiration they have mitochondria we don't have chloroplasts therefore we cannot do photosynthesis i hope that was crystal clear